Hey Libra. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at you Libra. I hope everything is going okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with your energy. This shouldn't be long. Let's see unless it needs to be long. No, no, meh. It's, it's, okay, we'll see what's going on with you. Anyway, I feel like you guys have this energy here with the Knight of Wands. You guys have this way about you, all right? Some of you guys are starting to become accountable or thinking, whoo, I should become accountable for some of the projects that I started and never finished. I'm just saying. You guys are being advised you need to finish these projects, whatever they are. I feel like you guys are hasty in a sense. Like, I don't necessarily want to do this right now, yet I'm brave. I feel like there's a lot of ambition. But I feel like some of you guys may have too many projects going on at once. And I think it might be, things are not being finished. That's basically what the bottom line is. So whatever these projects are, and I don't know why this is such a big deal. It came out first, so this might be at the head of your mind. Like, hey, I have like five outstanding projects. I think it's a bigger number than that because I keep getting this thing where you started so many of them that you need to, um, I don't want to say minimize your goals. I don't think that's fair to say. Keep all your goals, but we're going to finish them in segments, meaning as we start them, we finish them. Just saying. Okay, that's enough for me. But you are ambitious. That's a good thing, right? Okay, so the next card I have for you guys is happiness. All right, this is the card of the sun. Card of the sun. Listen, it's a sun card, all right? This card talks about material happiness. It talks about happiness overall, and it's upright. So you guys could be experiencing some kind of success, positivity, feeling optimistic about things, all right? You guys are being advised to, in order to keep up this energy, you want to focus on the things that you can control. Like, you know what? I, you know, I just can't finish this other thing over here that I'm doing, right? And this is just, we're talking about your projects now, just to tie it in. Like, there's something I can't finish here because... I'm waiting for the parts to come from some delivering company over in another country. So I have to wait at least six weeks. All right, don't just give up. I can't finish it. All right, order the parts. They'll be here in six weeks. So now we're going to go back to the other project and we're going to finish something. We're gonna, you're going to finish things that you do have control over. You don't have any control over what time or when the parts are going to show up. But you do have control out of two of the other five projects. Let's get it going. Just saying. All right. We have the King of Pentacles for you, so, mm, boy, y'all, you know what? I'm starting to see this little mood here, okay? Some of you guys are being a little, uh, you're happy, but it's kind of like with the King of Pentacles reverse, it's, it's kind of like you guys could be possessive about things, like, your own accomplishments, look what I did, exploiting other people, yeah, well, I was able to accomplish this, but you weren't able to accomplish that. In this short amount of time or whatever this is you know so something like that you guys need to start being grateful that you had the ability to maybe get something done sooner than somebody else or something like that without exploiting them or using them as an example of how you should not be that's not your story to tell that's their story to learn from you they can learn from you of how uh, da -da, da -da -da. but at the end of the day you're not perfect either because you still have all this outstanding stuff yourself now don't you now now Libra Okay, I'm just saying. So, some of you guys could be dealing in corruption. You know, anything can be corrupt, right? It could be you, I don't know, I don't know, taking some back road where you know you can go 100 miles per hour to get there. Something like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be corruption, but if you really want to think about it, this is King of Pentacles. Some of you guys are corrupt. All right, some of you guys are making bad investments. Some of you guys think you're hiding from the law and you're not. I don't know what that means. I was just advised to tell you, obviously this reading is not for every Libra, but there could be somebody who, um, who their money or something, something they're invested in, they know it's not right. All right, so there could be something playing with your heart a little bit because you think things are looking good, but you're exploiting other people. Some of you guys could actually literally be exploiting other people. Mm. Okay, anyway, being controlling. Again, guys, just control what you can control. I want you to guys that really try and have some kind of positive energy. Because I think from, I don't know where this is all coming from, but I do see you guys withdrawn in the area of, um, I don't know, it could be it could be emotions, like emotional withdrawal. Like in some cases, like some of you guys are removing what is ethical, what is moral in certain situations because you're removing, 
it could be a situation where I don't know what this is about. It just looks like to me somebody could be dealing in some kind of corruption. Hmm. I feel like some of you guys are ignoring the fact that what you could be doing is hurting other people. All right, so you're just being advised to think about that. You have the Eight of Cups. This talks about withdrawal, moving on, abandonment. Okay, all right, 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 all right. All right. All right. Some of you guys could actually be moving on from some kind of corruption, abandonment. Either the situation left you or you left the situation. However it goes for you, maybe you guys are moving on from it or maybe you need to. Okay. I don't know what that was about. Some of you guys could actually be dealing with the Aries here. I do see water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I see earth energy here. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And I see fire. Here's Leo Sag. All right, let's see. Show me Libra and love, please. Um, sorry, guys, I'm using these. Sorry about that. I should have showed you. Romance Angels. I'm trying to get better with that. Show me. Tell me what I need to know for Libra and love, please. Help me understand what's going on. See, to me, these cards uh, represent and tell, you know, different stories, like multiple things. All right, so let's see what comes out. We'll see what we get out of this for the area of love for Libra. Show me love. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from usual types and expectations. Okay. Hmm. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Hasty behavior. Ambitious. Uh -huh. New love. Mm hmm I don't know if this necessarily ties together, but I think you guys are... Let your friends help you. Mm. Mm. Your friends giving you the opportunities of... <laughs> hey, I heard about this new company. Oh, did you? Yeah, but it's not public. Oh. Mm. Express your love. Okay, when I look at love for you guys, I see like you guys may be trying to... Make a decision about somebody new or... Base, I don't want to say make a decision about somebody new. I think you guys might actually um, be considering love, right? Because I see there was some kind of abandonment. To me, I feel like you guys are escaping something. Having to do with a host of things, all right? But I feel like there's an element of optimism. But then we look at the King of Pentacles and this talks about some behavior that still needs to be corrected within you. Something you need to abandon and walk away from. I feel like you guys need to abandon this type of, this Knight of Pentacles energy. Reverse. It's reversed. All right. So I kind of feel like with you guys, some of you may have given off the impression that you're not reliable. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe you're abandoning that type of behavior. But in terms of love, I feel like you guys are keeping an open mind about something having to do with affairs of the heart. I feel like you guys do have these very nice emotional feelings for somebody new, but you're not 100% sold. With the King of Pentacles, I feel like some friends maybe have told you some things. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if you should stop listening to them, or maybe you're thinking twice about the, the advice that they give overall when it comes to affairs of the heart as well as finances. But express your love. I feel like you guys are holding that back for some reason. Huh. Give me one more. Why are they holding back? Why are they holding their feelings back? Why are they holding their feelings back? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection. Tell me more. Tell me more. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking. Uh-huh. I think you guys have a connection with somebody else and you don't necessarily want to choose children. Some of you guys have children. Some of this new person might have children. Past life relationship. I think you guys here, Libra, I think you guys have, um, I think you guys have feelings for somebody new that you may have met and you're questioning or trying to figure out, like, I do have chemistry with this person, but, and they don't look like or they're, the way they are is not what I'm used to, but for some reason I'm drawn to this person. Um, I also feel like there's a past life relationship here. So I feel like there's a couple of people, a couple of situations that you're choosing between, which may be putting you in that energy of not necessarily making a decision. <clears throat> Tell me more. 
Tell me more. What else does Libra? I'm using these guys. I forget what they are. I think. I think they're like. Oh, they're fairy something Doreen Virtue. I think. All right. What else does Libra need to know? I'm gonna move this down a little bit because as we fill the board, I want you guys to at least be able to see it. And this is also uh, an attempt for me to keep a <laughs> a better looking board. Sometimes you can't prevent it. It is what it is. Especially towards the end. It's like, eh, alright, let's see. Patience, please. I'm losing my patience. Patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. So there are some things that need to play out in the background, but I feel like you might be losing your patience. I want you to not lose your patience. I want you to feel this time with unfinished things like your project. So you need to be productive during this time of uh, whatever's going on in the background to play out. All right. So until you can make up your mind. So I'm going to leave this here. This is reverse. You need to have some patience. All right. Finish the projects that you have outstanding before you jump into something new. Love life. Also reversed. The basis of your question involves your romantic life which is now changing for the better. There are going to be some delays here, but your romantic love life is going to change for the better. I feel like some of you guys are going to make a decision about something. Business venture. Mm -hmm. There's a business venture that could be delayed for you. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career oppor opportunity. I feel like you guys have a lot of things. You, so then listen, this to me just adds to, it confirms. You have so much stuff going on. The things that you can't control, you can't control. Do the things necessary to get it in motion, right? Like wait for the parts for six weeks from another country. And during those six weeks, you're going to go back, take a look at what you do have lined up. And prioritize. What can I get? What needs to be done immediately? What do I have? What parts do I have that I can complete? Because I feel like there's a lot of things that you just didn't get to. Because you're like, oh, I'll get to it. And now next thing you know, you have all these outstanding projects. And then now you want to jump into another business venture? No, 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 no. You got six weeks. Get it right. Don't ask me where I'm getting six weeks from. That might actually mean something to somebody. It means nothing to me. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not a Libra either, so. All right, let's see. Um, let's see. Now, I'm also going to pull these. <sighs> give me a card or two for Libra. Yeah, give me a minute with these because these suckers, are, they appeared smaller. But when I got them, they were huge. Like, huge. And I have little hands, so maybe that's why, too. So, and on top of that, there's this real... I think I found... I think I understand... All right, I got it. I think I understand how to shuffle these. Oh, there's a method to the madness. Who knew? Give me a card for Libra, please. Advice for Libra in the area of... Because this is obviously the limit for you. Love. Love. Ooh, that fell. All right, I'll take it. Uh, no, it's too many of them. I can't. Hold on. Let me shuffle again. Oh, guys. Come on. Give me one for Libra. Let me not run. I think that card wanted to come out. It showed up a couple of times. Well, it didn't flip, though. All right. Time. Oh. This is the front of it. Time. Oh, and this is pain. I'll be paying. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. If you're trying too hard well, maybe in your head you're trying to I don't know but anyway time you're trying too hard give it time that's interesting give me one more please it's really interesting because I feel like Libra takes all the time in the world I don't know but everybody's different so their their definition of time and mine are completely different see three years to them <laughs> I know right Any of my jokes Three years to y'all. <laughs> All right, soulmate. Oh my goodness. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. A, A, A. Okay, wait a minute. There's something else I want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, where are they? Oh, these cards. I just want to pull one of these. I want to see. Tell me about time, please. Anything with time? Either time or message. This is my mixed deck. You know, the little time cards where I think it was like, no lie, it was like 16 of them, and I mean, that was weird. 
beautiful, but weird. I was like, okay. So, I did decide to mix this deck. It's a mixture of time and also moon messages. And we're going to see what these cards have for Libra. All right. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Oh, I feel like a moon card wants to come. Ooh, yep. I knew it. Moon card wants to come out first. What message? Dark moon. Spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you guys need to be productive in filling your time, this void. It's, it's time. Finish projects. Go within. Meditate. Seek. Whatever that means to you. Whoever it is you serve. Seek. One more. Moon and Gemini. Mm. Stress may be an issue during this time. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Do you have anything for time? I'm gonna get one more card, guys, and if it doesn't pull time, that's because it wasn't supposed to. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force this just so you guys can actually see this here. Alright, so you guys can see this. Oh, okay, time did not want to fall, but the moon did. Some moon card. Hold on. Alright, let's see. Let go of that which is causing your inner turmoil. Now is the time for casting away emotions that no longer that are no longer serving you. Mm-hmm. I think you guys are going to clear some things up, and I think as you clear things up, you'll start to have a clear mind, and you can better manifest, or first of all, you can better decide what you want. Like, you can, you can actually decide what you want. I feel like having all this congestion, and when I say congestion, I mean congested with, uh, first of all, the cares of life, um, unfinished projects, people in your life that you're not sure about trying to make up some kind of decision i feel like you guys are weighing the pros and cons i feel like this is the first time i really feel like libra wants to move but it's not the right time but eventually i feel like you you abandon some kind of a situation i don't know what this is all about but that's all i have for you guys i'm gonna leave it there because this was a lot a lot of food for thought you can see the cards i want you to be able to see them mm. Alright, so, guys, I want you to like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, please, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot, I'll see you guys in a little bit, bye.